Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gafey and today you are joining me for an unboxing and try on from my ThreadUp goodie box. ThreadUp goodie box is a styling service for people who love to thrift but also love to go through the sustainable route of repurchasing already used items. What's really awesome about it is that it gets delivered to your home and you get a personal stylist that gets to help you pick out these like new items. There is no subscription required for a thread up goodie box. It's really easy to get started. You go online, fill out a style of profile, and you receive 10 like new items that are hand picked to fit your style, your budget, and your size. There is a $10 fee, but that goes towards anything that you decide to keep. You have seven full days to try everything on and decide which items you're going to be sending back free of charge. It's always free shipping and free returns. Not only that the fee is $10, which is better than most online styling services, you also get a full seven days to make your decision, which is more than the typical online styling service as well. And you also get more pieces to try on. You get 10 items and ThreadUp also includes accessories and shoes into your box, but you get to pick themed boxes as well. Some of the themes may vary, like there is trendy styles, there's a color coordinated box. There's also a work theme box or the custom goodie box that's prepared by a stylist if you choose. I personally love getting thread up boxes because you really are receiving a treasure box filled with stuff that you don't know that you're gonna get. Most styling services have a limit to what kind of items that they're gonna be putting in your box. A lot of people get the same items, but a thread up goodie box, you'll never know what you're gonna end up with, which is really awesome. And it's just really cool because it's always a surprise. Anyway, let's go ahead and open my thread up box and see what I got. All right, so you receive your box. This is what it looks like. They do such a good job with their packaging, especially for pre-loved items. I just think it's really great how they do this whole presentation. You open your box, it looks like this. You get your little pamphlet here with the return label. Alright, so the first item here, a Madewell pullover sweater. The estimated retail price is $98 and the threaded price is $31.99. Looks like this. Urban Outfitters cardigan, which retails for $74 and threaded price is $28.99. It's a great cardigan. Another cardigan from Lovers Plus Friends. And this one retails for $119 and threaded price is $34.99. This is like this beige tone color. Women's Steel Fleece retails for $119. Threaded price is $47.99. The Madewell Blouse retailing for $89 and thread up price is $28.99. This is really cute. I like this. The top from La Casa. The retail price is $125. Thread up price is $32.99. Like, this is insane. I cannot believe this retails brand new for $125. Like, this is barely anything. Like, it's about to, like, disintegrate as I hold it in the air. <laughs> now, that tells me that this is just, like, a brand name that people are paying for. Um, but anyway, this is the top. Sweatshirt from Layla Jade. Estimated retail is $95, thread up price is $27.99. This is a little bit more of a substantial top here. The fabric feels heavier. A pair of sundry sweatpants retails for $107 and thread up price is $37.99. This looks really cute and comfortable. A pair of AG jeans retailing for $167, thread up price is $31.99. I love AG jeans. They're just super cute. And these usually cost a pretty penny as well, so this is kind of fun. Hopefully these work out. Last, I have another pair of jeans from the brand Everlane. This one retails for $78 and thread up price is $35.99. I'm super excited about this pair. I love this brand. They have really good quality products. I don't have a pair of jeans from them yet, so I'm hoping this works out. Really like this. The price range on all these pieces are really nice. The most expensive thing I have here is $47.99. Let's try everything on and see if it's worth purchasing. Be right back. 
Here's the first outfit. These are the AG jeans and this is the Steel fleece pullover and I really love this outfit. Both pieces fit so well on me. It's perfect. These jeans, I didn't think I was going to fit into them. They looked small but they fit perfect. These jeans are a little bit folded at the hem but I feel like it's supposed to be worn that way. It's got the little bit of the destructive details on the jeans which is really nice. It is like a medium wash and they fit so nice. It's a low rise pair of jeans. This fleece here, I mean, it seems pretty basic, but I don't think I have one this color yet and this just fits really nice. I would just pull this out every day and wear this during the fall and even the beginning of the spring. I um, just went ahead and paired it with some fashion sneakers and I am ready to go. Super cute. Alright guys, here's the next piece. It's the same pair of AG jeans, but I went ahead and put on the Lovers and Friends cardigan. And it's really cute. It's got a big bubble kind of sleeve thing going on here. Definitely more of the oversized fit, but this can go with so many things. So I just went ahead and put it on with what I already had, changed my shoes, um, and it's really cute cute. It's a chunky kind of cardigan, but it's also very lightweight or because of the fabric that they're using. It's pretty. So here is the next two pieces, and this is that white sleeveless blouse from La Casa. Super thin. It's kind of what it looks like. And this is the gray cardigan from Urban Outfitters. And definitely the whole outfit together I think looks really cute. This cardigan is really nice. I do love the dark gray. I don't have a dark gray cardigan like this. And it is almost like a dolman sleeve kind of thing going on here, but not fully. Um, there is no button to this, but there are pockets, which is really nice. These are the same AEG jeans. It's very comfy, very everyday. Here's the next outfit, and this is the sweater from Madewell. It's a nice little color block detail. It's a cropped fit with a little bit of a slit here on the side, and it's really cute. It has like these two little pockets here on the side. Really cute and comfy, fits me perfect. For these jeans, these are the Everlane jeans. I was really excited to try this pair on because I know that this is a brand that I've been really wanting to try as far as their jeans go. Their other clothes are amazing, dresses, tops and stuff, um, but these jeans I can barely get into. My legs are just too thick for these jeans and I had to like really suck my tummy in to get these jeans on at least button but I really wanted to show you guys um, overall like if it was just one size up I would definitely have loved this it's a high waist and it is a skinny leg and it is a little long on the ankle it's a little a little bit longer than I personally like but the color and the cut of it is just really nice it's a really sturdy pair of denim there is no stretch to it at all but just a really nice pair So this is the Madewell top and it's really cute. It is perfect. I love it. I love the oversized fit of it and the vintage look of it as well. I have a top that's very similar to this and it's not quite made just as good as this one. The fabric is much thicker. It's a heavier fabric and it's definitely supposed to be this oversized style here. Very boxy but really cute once it's front tucked. Even when it isn't front tucked, it's just a really cute piece. The whole outfit together just looks really cute. Again, these jeans are just so nice. I just wish it was just a tad bigger and it'd be perfect. But I love this. Definitely cute for spring with a really cute sun hat. Just really adorable.
All right guys, so here is the last outfit and I'm wearing the sundry joggers. They are really comfy, really soft as expected. It's a dark green tone with this really nice sparkly strip on the side of each leg. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it and also a leopard print, which I think is really cute. Has it on both sides. The only thing I would say is that it is missing the drawstring. Um, it has little pockets here, so it's really comfy. And then this is the Layla Jade pullover, and this is a really nice uh, thing. It's really comfy, and it's got this like white strap, the two double white strap detail on both sides. Fits perfect. Really nice, soft cotton, very breathable. You can definitely layer pieces over this, which I like, but definitely a very comfy outfit, and I'm all about the comfy, you know. Okay, so that's everything. So many fun pieces today. I was definitely excited to try everything on because there's just so many cute little pieces in here. Um, but anyway, let me just go into it and tell you what I'm keeping and what I'm sending back. The first piece here is the Lovers and Friends cardigan. This is a nice staple piece. And I'll be honest, I'm just not into this style or this color cardigan. I'm not sure why. It's too light of a color for me, so I'm just gonna pass on this. Next is this La Casa top here. I already knew I wasn't gonna like this piece. It's just not worth it. Even the thread up price, I don't see it being worth it at all. It's just gotta go back. <laughs> This Madewell sweater, really cute sweater. Not a sweater that I would probably pick up on my own. I thought it fit really cute, but I have so many sweaters already that I probably don't need to add another one, especially because we're going into the spring and summer. I'm looking for more florally, girly, romantic pieces for the spring. It's just a little late for me, so I'm gonna pass on this. This Layla Jade top. I already have a lot of pieces that look like this already. Don't need to add another one, so I'm gonna pass on this. These sundry joggers are really cute, and I love them. It fit nice, but it is missing the drawstring at the waist. If it had that piece, I probably would keep this. This is definitely quality. I liked wearing it, it was very comfy, but just because it's missing that one detail, I know it's a little petty, but I'm gonna pass on this for now. These Everlane jeans, my gosh. These barely could fit on my legs. I really did love the fit of this. If it fit me, if it was just one size up, I would definitely keep this pair. I'm really bummed that this didn't fit. I know what size I'd be in this brand now. At least I have a little bit of an idea of what size I would probably pick up if I did purchase this brand of jeans, which it was something definitely on my list. So it was really nice to be able to try on a pair of Everlane jeans, but for now I'm gonna let this one go. A maybe for me is this Urban Outfitters cardigan. I don't have a plain gray cardigan already, and this fit pretty nicely. This is something I can wear over dresses during the spring, which is nice. I love the length of it, and it does have pockets, which is very convenient. I'm gonna think about and maybe look around and see if there is a gray cardigan that I would rather have right now. I'm still thinking about it. Okay, so the pieces that I do wanna keep are these AG jeans. These AG jeans are really nice. It's definitely worn out for sure, but it's still in really good condition. There's some stretchiness to these jeans. It's a low ride and it fits really nice. It fits perfect. There's some definite distressing on it, which is fine, but I think for the price, it's really good. And the style of it is really cute as well. And it's a pair of jeans that I can wear and not have to worry about taking care of. Love this brand and just love the fit. So I'll be keeping these. Next piece that I'm gonna keep is this beige pullover from Steo. I didn't think I'd care for this, but after wearing it, I really did like this. And on top of that, it's a really good quality quarter zip pullover, which is such a basic piece that I unusually don't have in my collection. Definitely cute for layering, even where you can wear this during the winter and put a warmer coat over it or just alone, but definitely stylish, a piece that's not gonna go out of style, so I think I'm gonna hang on to these. These are really cute. Next piece that I was really excited about is this Madewell top here. Really cute, and I just love it. I love the fit of it really good quality. Now, let me just point out, I have a top that's very similar to this already, and I kind of already knew that. Most times when I am 
trying to decide on pieces that I want to keep. If I have something similar to it already, I usually don't pick it up. The reason why I want to keep this, oh, and let me show you the piece that I already have. This one I got here from Banana Republic. Very similar pieces. The cut is slightly different too. This is definitely more of a baggier cut, which is okay. But the reason why I do want to keep this just even if I already have something similar, is because the quality is better. So if the quality is better and it beats the one that I currently have, then yes, I will keep. And it's just really awesome that I was able to find this in my thread up box. Super cute, really excited about this piece. And um, yeah, keeping this guy. All right guys, so that basically wraps everything up. Definitely a fun box and some good finds. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this box in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. This lets me know whether you guys enjoy these thread up videos or not, which is always very helpful. I'll make sure to put the information in the description box for you guys as always. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me in this thread up unboxing and try on. You guys have a great day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.